Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Purihin ang ating Panginoon at muli tayong makakarinig ng salita ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Nawa ay nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Ako'y nagpapasalamat sa ating Diyos na mabigyan ng pagkakataong makapag-share muli ng salita ng ating Panginoong Diyos. At ang topic po natin ngayon pong umaga ay tungkol sa leadership. Ito ay tungkol sa ating paglilingkod sa Diyos. At ang title po ng message natin ngayon ay Leaders with a Servant's Heart. Let us open our Bible in Romans chapter 15 beginning verse 1 up to 6. Let me read. Now, we who are strong ought to bear the weaknesses of those without strength and not just please ourselves. Each of us is to please his neighbor for his good to his edification. For even Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproach you fell on me, on us. For whatever was written in earlier times was written for our instruction, so that through perseverance and the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. Now, may the God who gives perseverance and encouragement grant you to be of the same mind with one another according to Christ Jesus. And in the last verse, so that with one accord you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Our loving Heavenly Father, we pray that you will speak to us through your Holy Word. Lord, give us the message you want us to hear. At ayaan mong ipamuhay namin ang iyong salita. We just pray, God, that you will make us a leader with a servant's heart. For this is our prayer thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. In our first slide in the PowerPoint, we will see different types of leadership. Una ang ating Pangulong Duterte, Rodrigo Roa Duterte. In this pandemic generation at sa nangyaring COVID crisis, God allows him to lead our nation at makarecover sa ekonomiya. Another type of leadership displayed by Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple Incorporated. And you will see the influence of this person who became the world leader in telecommunications. And of course, coming mga pasto as spiritual leaders, leading our churches and our family And of course, maging ang ating bansa sa panalang. So we have different types and kinds of leadership. But our question is this in our leadership insight. How can leaders increasingly gain a servant's heart and to live out the qualities of a true servant? First, let me define what is leadership. What is leadership? In secular leadership, a simple definition is that leadership is the art of motivating a group of people to act towards achieving a common goal. For example, in a business meeting, this can mean directing workers with a strategy to meet the company's needs. Or even more simple, the leader is the inspiration and director of the action. Or he, she is the person in the group that possesses the combination of personality and leadership skills that makes others want to follow his or her direction. In other words, yung leader po ang nagbibigay ng direction 
sa company or sa organization. But when we talk about spiritual leadership, the ultimate example of powerful, effective, and beneficial leadership is our Lord Jesus. Diniscribe nga po siya ng isang manunulat na si Ford as um, describe Jesus' ability to create vision, shape, values, and empower change of transforming leadership. Jesus' leadership was both modeled and taught, culturally relevant and transcultural, enabling and empowering and enduring. His thesis is that Christian leaders in any arena of influence must allow Jesus to lead through them. Ang spiritual leadership Thus, young leaders must be identified with Jesus and with their followers as he was. While leaders in secular may learn the secular leadership models, they must be cautious in their application. Why? Because there is an important uh, message and guidelines when we talk about spiritual leadership. Kasi pagka pinag-uusapan natin yung spiritual leadership, it talks about yung Jesus' way to attain greatness. And that is true only to servanthood. Sabi niya, uh, mas mapalad and greater is He who serve than to be served. Di ba? Yun po yung Policy, yun po yung uh, pangunahing goal ni Lord pagdating sa leadership. The greatness and to attain greatness is to servanthood. Another one is that si Paul mismo wrote to the Romans and commended their spirit of service. Sinabi ni Pablo, at ito nga yung passage natin, that servanthood, servanthood also is one of the ways we can be great in the kingdom of God. To become a servant, certain attitudes and values are required. And this passage, sa Romans 15, beginning verse 1 to 6, serve as another reminder that leadership is about serving others and not achieving power. Hindi po ito kapangyarihan. This is service. Paglilingkod po ito. Servanthood. When we talk about spiritual leadership. Notice how Paul describes a servant. No? In Romans, in the passage Romans 15, beginning verse 1 and verse 6. Sabi dito, yung unang may kita natin in this passage, in verse 1, the first attitude is denies, denying yourself. Deny self. Diba? Sabi ng scripture sa verse 1, binasa natin kanina, we are to please others, not ourselves. Hindi natin dapat uh, laging iniisip ang ating sarili. Ang iniisip natin ay ang kapana, kapakanan ng ibang tao. For example, what happened to the uh, victims of typhoon. We are so thankful to God that our association, Sumabka, and even our convention, LCSBC, ay nakatulong kahit papaano sa mga taong nasa lanta ng calamity. At yun po yung gusto ng Panginoon pag, pagdating sa leadership. He wants us to serve. He wants us not to please ourselves. Kalimutan natin ng ating sarili. At ang ating pong isipin ay ibang tao. I hope you understand that leadership is service. Leadership is denying yourself. You deny yourself and you will be blessed by the Lord sa, sa, iyong pagigi, sa paglilid mo ng iyong uh, anumang uh, capacity. Maliit man o malaking bagay, we are exercising our own leadership, our leadership. And you know what? Um, in leadership, yung success, yung 
pag rise and fall lies on the leadership capacity. Kaya may kita natin dito na napakahalaga ng uh, uh, leadership as far as our service is concerned. And so the first uh, attitude that God wants us to have in this passage is that you, we will deny ourselves. Let's look for the um, uh, need of others instead of us. Of course, may need din tayo, but if you will deny yourself, you are to please others and not ourselves. That's according to verse 1. Another one is develops and train others. In verse 2, sinabi doon, we are to add value to others. Yung important sila. And when you are uh, talking about importance ng iba, you want them to be successful. You want them to be mentored. Nice mo maging maunlad din po sila. If you are only uh, expecting uh, success in yourself at ayaw mong may ibang tao na maging successful, that's that leadership. Sabi nga nila, um, <clears throat> of course, everyone, uh, anything rises and falls on leadership. At yung iba, binabang, binabanggit nila doon na uh, uh, if, uh, walang followers. No? If you are, have no followers, you cannot be a leader. Diba? So mahalaga po sa atin dito na meron pong tinatawag na successor. Success without successor is failure. And so we need to train others. I-duplicate po natin. For example, meron tayong mga, mga tinitrain sa ating family. And uh, one of course of our personal testimony is that I praise God na uh, yung panganay kong anak also followed Jesus in, in uh, serving the Lord God and become a pastor. Ibig sabihin yan, at least kahit paano, ma, mayroon akong uh, achievement as far as in my leadership in the family is concerned. Ibig sabihin, may sumunod sa aking naging pastor. Not only naging pastor, naging teacher din si Pastor JP. And now studying at US uh, sa kanyang uh, doctorate degree. I'm so thankful for that. Kasi we need to also mentor our family. We need to mentor our church members. We need to have a successor. We need to uh, train others. And that is leadership. If you are not training others, you cannot be an effective leader. Because yung training ay napakahalaga. Yung mentoring ay napakahalaga. We, have, we need to develop and train others. That is one of the attitude and characteristics of an effective leader, of becoming a leader with a servant heart. Another one is accept mistreatment. That is in verse 3. Nabasa natin kanina do sa, sa binanggit doon. Uh, may mga pagkakataon that you will experience yung mistreatment. No? In verse 3, you read that, di ba? Maski ang Panginoon nakaranas na ng pag-uusig mula sa kanyang mga uh, nagparusa sa kanya. So, all of us leaders ay uh, hindi pwedeng ma-excuse. No one is excused. If you are a leader, you will experience uh, persecution. You will experience trials. You will experience testing. You can also, you will also experience mistreatment. Hindi ka naintindihan kung minsan. At yan ay part ng uh, attitude that you need to have bilang leaders with a servant heart. We are also to forgive wrongs. Kasi nga, na-mistreat tayo. Diba? We accept it and we, we need to forgive others. If you cannot forgive others, maapektuan yung leadership uh, effectivity mo. Because one of the attitude of a leader with a servant heart is to forgive yung mga nakasakit sa kanya. I hope you understand na tayo po dito ay nararapat lang. Kasi nga, ang Panginoon mismo nakaranas ng pag-uusig, ng mga kahirapan, ng kanyang parusa. Pero instead na pagalitan sila, instead na parusahan sila, 
uh, ano ang last words that uh, lumabas sa, bu- sa bibig ng ating Panginoon. He said, Lord, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Forgiveness is the last word na makikita natin at uh, naririnig on the context sa last word ng Panginoon. In other words, mahalaga po itong uh, attitude na ito to become a leader to the servant heart. Another one is that you imitate Christ. In verse 3, we are to look to Jesus as our model. Binanggit nga doon na uh, uh, um, even Christ did not please himself. So, sinasabi dito na we need to look unto Jesus as our model. Kung ano yung nangyari sa kanya, we are also to follow, we are also to imitate what happened. I'm not saying you will be crucified on the cross, pero mararanasan natin ito eh. Because Jesus is our model. And so with that, habang ini-imitate natin ang Panginoon, it follows. Lahat ng gagawin natin sa pagilingkod sa Diyos ay merong kasama uh, biyaya ng Panginoon. Because it is only by the grace of God that we are here. It is only by His power that we can stand in the pulpit and we can lead our church, our family. It is only by His grace. Kasi kung wala sa Kanya, wala ang Kanyang biyaya, ang grasa Niya, lahat tayo dito, wala. Hindi tayo makakapagpatuloy sa pagilingkod sa Diyos. Even in this time of pandemic, napakahirap. Sinara na namin lahat ng mga negosyo nagsara. May mga kaibigan ako, kakilala, may-ari ng TESDA, three-story building. Pagkatapos na walang sila ng, ng, ano, ng mga estudyante. At ngayon, sinisingil sila ng renta nila sa sa ano sa three story building nila at hindi pinapakuha yung gamit nila that's stressful di ba yan po ay napakasakit isipin no kakaroon na sila ng ng depression dahil sa mga nangyaring ito with this covid crisis and also as sinara na nating lahat sinara ko na ang opisina lahat everything pero even in times of pandemic we learn the example of our lord he is our model kung sa mismo ay na nagkaroon ng pag-uusig, kung sa mismo ay nakaranas ng, ng uh, pag-uusig na ito, hindi pa tayo tapos. Hindi pa tapos ang atin pong, uh, 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 hindi pa tapos ang Panginoon sa atin. God has a wonderful plan in our life. And so with that, we need also to be teachable. No? In verse 4, takes the attitude of a student, a disciple. Di ba? Yan yung kailangan nating attitude. We are to remain teachable. Di ba? Hindi yung uh, ayaw na nating magpaturo. Parang, parang tapos na ang lahat, no? We are, is, we are only in the beginning. Nasa simula pa lang tayo. Everything na ginagawa ng Panginoon sa atin, minumold niya tayo, at tayo po ay nasa pagsisimula pa lang ng paglilingkod sa Panginoon. So we are to be teachable. Kaya nating matutunan yung mga pinagagawa sa atin ng Panginoon sa mga panahong ito. And that is one of the attitude of a servant leader. And of course, pursue unity and peace. In verse 5 and 6, which is our last verse in this passage, pursues the Harmony of relationship, yung unity in the spirit, we are to pursue unity and peace. Kahit na anong nangyayari, sabi dito, so that with one accord, in verse 6, you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Kahit na anong nangyayari, sabi niya dito, kahit na anong nangyayari with one accord, with one voice, sa panahon ng trial, sa, la, sa panahon ng pag-uusig, sa panahon ng problema, ng, ng lahat ng ito, basta nagkakaisa tayo. At bilang leader, you are the one, you are the instrument of God in uniting your people, in uniting your organization, your company, and your church. 
and even your family. And that is in verse 5 and in verse 6. Napakahalaga po yan. That you pursue the unity and peace. At yan po ang last na attitude na makikita at uh, uh, nakita natin dito sa passage na ating pinag-aarali. In our conclusion, are you willing to give up rights and are you ready to sacrifice for the sake of eternal rewards? Di ba? Naiisip mo ba yung sarili mo? Sakripiso ko na lang. Ang mahalaga, sila po ay matulungan natin. Di ba? Ang mahalaga, mag-guide natin yung church, yung ating pamilya. And sacrificing for the sake of eternal rewards. Gusto mo ba na you, you be the best you can be for God's purpose and glory? Ang mahalaga, magawa mo yung kalooban, yung purpose ng Panginoon sa iyong buhay bilang servant leadership, servant leader. And of course, for God knows, you, you have a servant leadership heart. At naniniwala ako with this message, this passage in Romans 15, beginning verse 1 and 6, you can have a servant leadership heart. God bless your servant leadership today and always. And that is my prayer sa ating lahat. In behalf of my family, thank you so much. Uh, Pastor Alex Arseno, na nalangin po ako sa inyo. At tayong lahat ay magpatuloy na magkaroon ng servant leadership. Let me share to you the blessings of the Lord in our family and ministry, even in our journey of pandemic, ngayong COVID crisis. Dumaan din kami sa pagsubok, sa problema, pero ang lahat ng ito ay may plano ang Panginoon. And I know that you are also blessed. May ginagawa ang Panginoon sa inyong buhay. Magpatuloy lamang kayo. You are a leader. You are blessed. You are a leader with a servant's heart. And I know that your family will be blessed. And your church, our church, will be blessed also. Una, I praise God that my daughter uh, nakatapos na ng grade 6. And with honor, I praise God for that. That's my personal testimony. I'm so thankful to God that even in pandemic, nagkaroon ng uh, online or virtual graduation. And I praise the Lord for that. My son JP, Pastor JP, ay nakatapos na rin ang isang taon ng kanyang THM Master in Theology. Yung po yung first step into a PhD doctorate degree. Uh, parang kailan lang, one year, hindi namin alam kung paano nag-survive si JP. But I praise God that even in, even in these times of trial, we can do it, we can survive. And I know that you also can survive and be blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, we have a church. Meron kaming facing na doon. O siguro mga 20 lang kaming umaaten. Uh, the barangay captain allow us to be uh, in gathering because of the 30% na sinabi ng IITF. But still, uh, with protocols and uh, of course, yun po ay da para manalangin at magpuri, mag-aral. Uh, kahit konti lang kami, we can still pray and gather together to worship our Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, my, my son, JP, uh, Genreb, is leading our worship service. For all of these things, I praise God that even in times of crisis, makakapag-produce tayo ng mga leaders with a servant heart. I pray na kayo rin po, tayong lahat, ay magpatuloy sa Panginoon and produce in our heart a leadership isang leadership na ang kanyang iniisip at iniisip lamang po natin ay mapurihan ng ating Panginoon at mapaglingkuran natin ang ibang tao. Purihin ng ating Panginoong Diyos. God bless you all. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Blessed Sunday service and worship to our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you po. Amen. Amen.